Kristen Helmstetter, and welcome to the Coffee Self Talk podcast. I am so grateful that you are joining me and listening to this today. Thank you. I have a listener question today. It is from April. She wrote to me via Instagram, where you can find me at Coffee Self Talk. She pinged me a direct message that said, how do you keep yourself up when you're sick? I mean, like a cold, etc. Okay, April. Awesome question. Thank you so much. So I have three quick things to talk about to answer this question. First of all, to keep myself up when I'm not feeling well, I do relaxing, enjoyable things. I give myself permission to relax and heal. And this is a big deal to me. You might think, well, like, yeah, you know, when you're not well, you kick your feet up on the couch. But for me, somebody who was type A personality, who was a perfectionist, if I was laid up on the couch because I was sick, had a headache, a cold, or even COVID, it would stress me out in the past because I would be thinking to myself, oh my God, I got to work. I got to go do this. I got to clean. I got to blah, blah, blah. But not anymore. (laughs) I'm a much more relaxed person now, thanks to my coffee self-talk. And so I do relaxing, enjoyable things. I do things like binge watch Netflix or Amazon Prime movies. I read. I listen to audiobooks. I do all the things that give me real relaxation and joy. Because when you're relaxed, it's a better environment for your body to heal anyway. So that's one thing to consider is doing something that is relaxing and enjoyable for as long as it takes to get back to your full 100%. The next thing clearly is I do my coffee (laughs) self-talk and I do my self-talk while I'm lying on the couch. I'm running affirmations through my mind and usually there are lines about healing. So I'll grab the healing script out of coffee self-talk and I will read that. And sometimes I just focus on one affirmation that my body is healthy and strong and vibrant and glowing and juicy and beautiful and amazing and all that good stuff. So I use my self-talk. And the last thing I do, and these are not in any particular order, they are all important, I do them all, but the third thing is gratitude. Now, gratitude is a form of self-talk, so I always infuse gratitude into my affirmations, but when you focus on being grateful for stuff, it elevates your feelings, it feels good, it takes your mind off not feeling well, it improves your immune system. I mean, they've shown in studies how gratitude has an impact on your immune system. So hello, like right there, (laughs) make gratitude one of your focuses when you don't feel well, because it's actually going to help you feel better. So that's what I do. If I'm not feeling well, I do things I enjoy and that relax me. I definitely show up and do extra I think of doing my self-talk and then doing extra healing and healthy self-talk as like the vitamins, right? The vitamins for my mind. And then I take supplements for my body (laughs) on top of it, like extra vitamin C. And you know, when I had COVID, yes, I felt like poop. But you know what? I felt like shimmery poop. So that's it. Thank you, April, for your awesome question. If anybody else has a question for the podcast, you can send it to me on email, kristen at kristenhelmstetter.com, or you can send me a message like April did on Instagram. Okay, everybody, I am wishing all of you an incredibly magical, awesome, high energy, thrilling day. And as usual, I'm sending you magic hugs and kisses. So now you go live your magical life. Ciao, ciao.